Breaking news, guys. Here's Deputy Senate President Ike Kwerimado lands in fresh trouble. See what was revealed about him again. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always stopping by. If you're not joining us, I beg subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The London Met Met Metropolitan Police are currently investigating a new case related to Ike Kwerimado. Ike Kwerimado is a former deputy Senate president of Nigeria who was convicted of human trafficking last year and sentenced to 10 years in prison. A documentary titled Daniel vs. Ike Kwerimado reveals that this investigation is ongoing, but details remain scarce, uh, scarce, scarce due to his active status. The documentary highlights in an incident from November 2022 when a woman was arrested for allegedly plotting to engage in the organ harvesting. She was later released while the investigation continued. The film explores the circumstances leading the Ike Kurimado's conviction, detailing his fail from political uh, promise. Uh, 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 to imp imprisonment due to the ongoing investigation. The police have declined to comment further on the matter. The two part documentary series produced by Chude, okay, present futures exclusive assets to British prosecutors, police, and the family of the victim, referred to as Daniel. It's available on various streaming platforms. In March, the UK Central Criminal Court, uh, commonly, commonly known as the Old Bali, sentenced Senator Ike Kwerimado to nine years and eight months, his wife Beatrice to four years and six months, and Dr. Obina Obeta to 10 years. This case marks a significant legal milestone as it was the first conviction under the UK's uh, model slavery laws. The troll was found guilty of orchestrating the smuggling of a 21-year-old street vendor into the UK with the intent of selling his kidney for their daughter, Sonia, who suffers from kidney failure and undergoes regular dialysis, as stated by the Crown Prosecutor. Prosecution Service. The documentary not only shed light on Ike Kwerimado's case, but also raises broader questions about human trafficking and organ trade, issues that have garnered increasing attention in recent years. The investigation and subsequent findings may have far-reaching implications for similar cases in the future, emphasizing the need for vigilance and legal reforms in combating such crimes as a, the story unfolds. It remains a project reminder of the ongoing struggles against exploitation and the complex realities surrounding organ donation and trafficking. Nigerians, this one, Awala, don't double be this. The matter when they grant now be seen. The Metropolitan Police are conducting a new investigation connected to the case of the former Nigerian Deputy Senate President Ike Kwerimado, who was sentenced to 10 years in a British prison last year for human trafficking. This revelation emerged in the recently released documentary Daniel vs. Ike Kwerimado, directed by award-winning filmmaker Day. Okay, the part one of the two part documentary series, which premieres on August 23rd, 2024, provides a deep drive into the controversial case that led to Ike Kurimadu's conviction under the UK's Modern Slavery Act. It features exclusive interviews with British prosecutors, police, and the family of the victim known only by the pre, uh, preceding Daniel as mandated by the court to protect his identity. 
in an email shown in the documentary, Alexandra Mick, the senior communication manager for the Metropolitan Police, confirmed the ongoing investigation with regards to the life investigation, which is linked on Tuesday, 8 November 2022, directed from the meat specialist crime arrested a woman on suspicion of conspiracy to exploit for the purpose of organ harvesting milk roots. The woman who is in her 40s has been released under investigation. Inquiries remain ongoing. This new investigation, why separate is closely related to the Ikekwere Madu case, which saw the former Nigerian politician, his wife Beatrice, and the doctor Obina sentenced for their roles in attempting to arrest a kidney from the young man known as Daniel. The case was the first conviction under the UK's modern slavery art for organ harvesting, making it significant legal precedent. Due to the ongoing nature of this investigation, Mick cited the inability of the police to fully participate in the documentary at the time, further highlighted the sensitivity, the, sen the sensitivity and complicity of this of the case. Daniel versus Ike Kweremado portrays the dramatic fall of Senator Ike Kweremado from his powerful position in Nigerian politics to his current status as he convicted felon in the UK. The documentary also shed light on the border issue of human trafficking and the exploitation of vulnerable individuals, a crisis that continues to draw international to draw international attention. The series of shots across Nigeria and the United uh, Kingdom is available exclusively on the streaming platform with Chile.com. Okay. It is part of growing slate of future films produced by Chede, uh, present Chede, okay, Chede, present an independent studio known for its in, in, impactful storytelling on African issues. As the second part of the documentary series prepares to be released, the ongoing investigation linked to the Ike Kwerimadu case serves as a reminder of the far-reaching consequences of this landmark's conviction and the continuing fight against human trafficking. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now.